Okay, uh, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. We are going to do parameter changes of quadratic functions today. Now, hopefully you've already um, gone through parameter changes of linear functions, so quadratic functions should not be that much harder. Because here's the cool thing. When I first realized, or when I first started exploring these myself, I started realizing that, holy cow, if I understood linear equations, I already understood quadratic equations because they basically were the same thing. All right? Whatever happened with linear equations is going to happen with quadratic equations. And the other cool thing is that's true for all functions. If you understand what's happening with linear functions, then you already understand what's happening with all functions. You can predict points on other graphs just by understanding what we did on the linear parameter changes. All right? So first things first, what happens when you add d to a, quad, to a quadratic equation, right? So you have f of x plus d. Well, check it out. All it's going to do, it's going to take every point on that graph, right? And it's just going to move the points up d amount. It's just going to translate the graph up. Adding d to it just translates the graph up or down. That's it. So what's going to happen to the graph? Well, x is going to stay the same, and y is going to have d added to it, or subtracted if d is minus, right? That's it. x is going to stay the same, y is going to translate up by that amount. All right? So let's do it again. What's going to happen when it's in a parentheses, when you're subtracting c in the parentheses? Remember, when it's happening inside the parentheses, it does the opposite of what it's saying. So if it's saying minus c, it's really going to say plus c. If it's happening inside the parentheses, it's going to affect the x. So it's going to be x plus c comma y. Because when it happens inside, it's going to do the opposite. So remember that. So it's going to do x plus c comma y. What's that going to do to the points? Well, if I had that point, let's say that point, that point, and that point. What's it going to do? It's going to move them to the right C units, right? C, C, C units. It's just going to translate the graph C units. All right? So there's that. All right, so let's do those real quick, and then we'll come back to the other ones. All right, so we're going to do uh, C equals 2, right? So we're going to graph F of um, X squared plus 4. So we need to make our table for this, all right? And, you know, you probably should know by now that that's just a quadratic equation just translated up 4, but I guess we'll just get some points. So let's do the, let's do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. I don't know if that'll give us enough information. We may want to spread those out more, but we'll see, all right? Because all we're really interested in seeing what happens to the graph, right? All right, so negative 2 squared is 4 plus 4 is 8. So negative 2 is 8. Negative 1 is 5. 0 is 4, 1 is also 5, and 2 is also 8. So let's graph those points. So 0 is 4, 1 is, what do we say, 5? Negative 1 is also 5, all right? 2 is 8, and also negative 2 is 8. All right, I'm going to graph that twice real quick while I'm here because I'm going to use this in a minute. So it's going to be like this. Right, so there's my original graph, right? Just like this. And I'm going to zoom in in a minute, but. All right. Okay, so what's going to happen when I do f of x plus 2? Well, by now, I think you should know that it's going to affect the points. How is it going to affect the points? Well, it's going to add 2 to the f of x, and f of x is y, so the x is going to stay the same. The y is going to become y plus 2. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my table right here, because I think I have enough room for this, and this might save me some work, right? x is going to stay the same. y is going to be 2. So what is it going to be? Negative 2, add 2 to the y, 10. Negative 1, add 2 to the y, 7. 0, add 2 to the y, 6. 1, add 2 to the y, 7. 2, add 2 to the y, 10. Make sure I'm recording okay, everything's going all right. Yeah, good. All right, so there's the point. So let's graph these points. Negative 2, uh, let's graph the vertex first is 6. I'm going to do it in a, in a blue color, okay? 
so 6, right? Uh, 0, 6, negative 1 is 7. And the next one will be 1 is 7 and 2 is 10. So there it is, right? It's like this. Now what happened? Well, all the points went up too, right? So that's it. We translated the graph up two. That's it. All right, so that's the first one. All right, next one. Now let's do f of x minus two. That's the next one, right? Well, first things first, f of x minus 2 means we're, it's inside the parentheses, so it's going to affect the x. So it's going to do the opposite. So if it's x minus 2, it's going to be x plus 2, and we're not going to touch the y. The y is going to stay the same. All right, so if I made the table for that, right, what's going to happen to the table? Well, the x's are going to get added too. So remember, we're just going to take this original graph over here, right? And we're just going to add 2 to the x's. So x was negative 2. So let's leave the y's alone. So let's write those first. 8, 5, 4, 5, and 8. What's going to happen to the x's? Adding 2. So 0, 1, 2. Uh, 1 is 3. And 2 is 4. Right? So let's graph these points and see what happens. All right. So 0 is 8. That's here. 1 is 5. That's here. 2 is 4. That's here. Uh, 3 is 5. That's here. And you can see what's happening. You can see our quadratic now. 4 is 8. That's here. All right. So what's it going to do? It's just going to translate. What happened? It translated the graph. Did it, do. it translated the graph right to. All right, cool. That's what happened there. All right, next thing. What's going to happen? We're going to going to do b times x and a times f of x, right? So what's going to happen when you multiply x by something in the parentheses or multiply f of x by something? All right, just like before. Right? What's going to happen to the points? When it's inside the parentheses, right, it's going to do the opposite. So it's going to do 1 over b x comma y. Right? And depending on what b is, it'll either stretch or compress it. But what is that going to do? It's going to pull the points out by a factor of like twice as big or three times as big. Right? Or it's going to push it, pull it inwards, right? Inwards depending on whether it's you know greater than 1 or less, less than 1. All right, that's what that does, right? It's going to affect the x, and it's going to do the opposite of what it says. Now, what about a times f of x? Well, what is this going to do? Well, the x is going to stay the same, and the y is going to be a times whatever y is. So all the points are going to be pulled up by a factor of a, right? So the points are going to be pulled up by a multiplier of a. It's much easier to see it when you actually do it. All right, so let's do the next one. What's the next one? Uh, f of cx, so let's do f of 2x. What's going to happen to the points? Well, it's happening inside the parentheses, so it's going to affect the x, so the y is going to be left alone, right? And it's doubling x, so it's going to be half of x. half of x, all right? So let's make, I guess we need to make our original graph again, right? So let's just make that, uh, what was it, 4? And then I think it was like this. And then oh, I think it was, what was that? It was 2 is 8. 2 is 8. And I'll probably pause the video so you can get this. So that was my original equation, right? Like this. And I'm going to use it again over here first in a second. So let me make it here also. And then 2 is 8 we said, right? All right, so there's my original. Now what's going to happen to the points? 
Well, the x's are going to be half as big. So that means the y's get left alone. Right? The y's get left alone. So 8, 5, 4, 5, 8 gets left alone. And the y's are going to be half. So if it was negative 2, it'll be at negative 1. If it was at negative 1, it'll be at negative a half. If it was at 0, it'll still be at 0, because half of 0 is still 0. 1 becomes a half, and eight become, or 2 becomes 1. So what did I do? I just took all the x-coordinates, right, and I took half of them. All right? So what's that going to do to the points? Well, all it's going to do is move the points in and make them um, half as big as they used to be on the x. So let's just graph these points. I'm going to do them in red this time. All right? So negative 1 is 8, so it's here. And there's also a point here. It's reflected, right? And negative 1 half is 5, so it's here here. And you can see this graph, it's going to be like this. All right? It's like that. What's happening to that graph? What's happening is they're being pulled in. Right? They're being pushed inwards towards the y-axis, right? It's being pushed inwards. Am I happening on the horizontal? Is it happening horizontally or vertically? It's happening horizontally. It's a horizontal. And one half makes them half as big. Is that a stretch or compress? It's a compression. And you can even say a, a, a horizontal compression of one half. All right. Next problem. Let's do two times f of x. All right. So what's that going to do to the points? Well, it's happening to the f of x, so the x stays the same. The y is going to change, and it's just going to be double what y was, right? Now, let's, let's try something this time. I bet we can predict where these points are going to be, because if we have the original graph, watch this. Here's my original points, right? Here, 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 and here, right? Each point is going to be twice as far as it used to be, right? So if it was this far, it's going to be this far. If it was this tall, it's going to be twice as tall. So I predict it's going to look something like this. This is my prediction. Let me, let me just make my prediction. But my prediction is going to be something like this, right? So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. So let's make our table for this. I'm going to zoom out for this, right? So what's going to change? Well, the y's are going to change. So that means I can write the x's and not change them, right? So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. The y's are going to be doubled. So if it was 8, it's going to be 16. If it was 1, it's going to be 10. If it was 0, it's going to be 8. If it was 1, it's going to be 10. If it was 8, it's going to be 16. So what happened? Let's look at these points. 0, oh, 0 is... 8. I think I messed up, huh? Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, I'm wrong on my little red graph. I'm glad I graphed these. Nice job, me. All right, so let me graph these. I know what I did wrong now. All right, so let's graph these. Negative 2. Let's graph our origin first. 0 is 8. What's What happened? It's twice as far from the x-axis, right? So it's twice as far now. So that point got pulled up there. Uh, next point, let's see, negative 2 is 16. I can't even graph that. That's off the graph. Negative 1 is 10. I can graph that, right? So it's going to be like that, all right? Hope that makes sense. Every point gets pulled upwards, right? All the points got pulled upwards by double the distance that they used to be, all right? So that's our new graph, all right? I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next two examples, or the next example. So let's first, we're going to first deal with 1 half x squared minus 4, so we're going to have to make the table for that. 
And since we're doing halves, why don't we do multiples of two? So why don't we do negative four, negative two, zero, two, and four, right? So negative four squared is 16 divided by two is eight. You know what, we can't do negative four because it's gonna be off the graph. So we're gonna to have to do the same one. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Let's try that. Negative two squared is four. Half of four is two. Minus four is negative two. So negative two is negative two. Negative one squared is one. Half of one is one. Or sorry, half of one is a half. So we get one half minus four, which is negative 3.5, right? Check my math for that, but I think that's true. Negative one squared is one. Half of that is a half. Half minus four is negative 3.5. And zero is gonna be negative four. And one's also gonna be negative 3.5. And two's also gonna be negative two. All right, so we're gonna graph that four times this time. Might as well just get it out of the way, right? Zero is negative four. All right, uh, what else do we have? Oh, zero is negative four. I just graphed positive four, right? Zero is negative four. So they're all starting here. All right, and what's gonna happen? Uh, let's see, negative one is 3.5. So here and here. Oh, I didn't graph 3.5, I graphed it too high, right? Here and here. Uh, 3.5 is here and here. Here and here, I think. Yep, and what else we got? Uh, negative two is negative two. Negative two is negative two. Okay, I don't know how I switched colors, but I did. Uh, here and here, and two is negative two. All right, so there's my graph, right? It looks something like this. I feel like that's wrong. Let me, can I, I'm gonna go back and check my math real quick. Negative two squared is four, half of four is two, two minus four is negative two. I think I'm okay. Negative one is three point, so let me, Negative one is 3.5. Yeah, I think that's right. All right, so let me graph my other ones. Um, and we said negative one was 3.5, yeah, and negative two was t negative two. Negative two, negative two. All right, so it looks like this again, right? Something like that. Negative two is negative two. And like I said, I'm just graphing all three right now because I know I'm gonna manipulate them in a minute. So this is the hard part. All right, it might've been better to graph at least one more point, but you know, we'll live. All right, let us do F of X minus a negative four, which is really plus four, right? So what happens when we're adding four, really? We're really gonna subtract four, because remember, it's happening in the parentheses. So for subtracting a negative four, which is really plus four, right? We're really adding four. So we're gonna do the opposite of adding four. So it's gonna be x minus four comma y, right? So let's do our table for this. What's gonna to happen to the x's? They're gonna get four taken away from them. So the x, the y's are gonna stay the same. So negative two, negative 3.5, negative four, negative 3.5, negative two. And what's gonna to happen to the x's? They're gonna get four taken away. So that they, they're gonna be at negative six. They're gonna be at negative five. They're gonna be at negative four. They're going to be at, uh, subtract four is negative three subtract four is negative two, right? So what's that, what's that gonna, what's gonna happen? Well, I can tell you right now what's gonna happen, right? I'm subtracting four from the y, so I'm gonna translate the graph left four. That's what's gonna happen. Every point is gonna go four to the left. One, two, three, I'm gonna do it a different color. 
Uh, one, two, three. Wow. One, two, three, four. That point goes there. All right. One, two, three, four. That point's there. One, two, three, four. That point's there. And you can see our new graph is going to be like this. What happened? We moved that way four. Yeah? All right, next problem. Let's do f of x minus 4. All right, so what's going to happen? Well, you should be good at this by now. The x is going to stay the same. The y is going to get minus 4. I don't know if you can hear that sound. I, I apologize if you can hear that sound, but uh, wife is watering, and that's the uh, water going. So, All right, so what's going to happen now? So the x's are going to stay the same, the y's are going to get minus 4. So can I make the table? Sure, not hard at all. The x's are going to stay the same, so negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. The y's are going to get 4 taken away. So they're going to be at negative 6, uh, negative 7.5, negative 8, negative 7.5, and negative 6. And I can tell you right now what's going to happen. All the points are going to go down 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to be there. 1, 2... Uh-oh. Uh, 1, holy cow, again. All right, let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four, it'll be there. And so the new graph is like this. What happened? All the points got pushed down by four. So the graph got translated down four. That's it. All right, next problem. So now we're going to do f of, and we're not going to do negative 4, let's just do 4x, right? We're going to do 4x. All right, so what's that mean? It's times 4, so it's going to be 1 fourth, right? So it's going to be 1 fourth of the x, comma, y. All right, so let's make our table for this. Let's figure out what this table will look like. x and y. Okay, so it's the y, the x's are going to be 1 fourth, so it's going to be kind of hard to graph, which you'll see in a second. So 1 fourth of negative 2 is, okay, so negative 2 divided by 4 is negative 1 half. So the x is going to be at negative 1 half, negative 2. 1 fourth of negative 1 is negative 1 fourth at negative 3.5, right? 0, 1 fourth of 0 is still 0, so 0, negative 4, right? One fourth of one is one fourth, so one fourth negative three point five. Two one fourth of two. Be careful. That's two fourths, which is a half. So it's going to be one half. All right. So we're going to graph these carefully. Negative one half, negative two is here and here. All right. Uh, negative one fourth is three point five. Negative one fourth. I feel like I did something wrong. Let's check my math. One half is negative two. One fourth. Is, oh yeah, it is. It's like this, right? All right. So what is it doing? It's doing this. And what happened? All the points got pushed inwards, right? Like this, by a factor of one fourth. So it's a horizontal compression of one fourth. Okay, horizontal compression of one fourth. You know, I was thinking a minute ago. I didn't ever talked about what what happened on this one, right? I didn't ever talk. To, I never said anything about that. Well, let's go back to it, right? It was x comma two y. So it's affecting the y, which is vertical, right? It's a vertical. It's doubling, so it's not a compression, it's a stretch of a factor of 2, right? Of a factor of 2. It's going to be twice as big. 
All right. We're going to do our last one. Hopefully I have enough room here. Yeah, we're going to do 4 f of x. And I hopefully by now you, you're, you're getting this rhythm. Holy cow, we've been working on this for four or five days now. Um, you should be getting pretty good at this, right? All right, well, what's going to happen to the points? Well, it's happening outside the parentheses, so the x gets left alone, and the y's get four times as big. All right, so let's make our table. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. The y's get four times as big. So negative 2 becomes negative 8, negative 3.5, 3 times 4 is 12, 14. I think it's negative 14. It's off the graph. Uh, 0, negative 8. Oh, sorry, 0, negative 16. Holy cow, we're off the graph, aren't we? Negative 16 and uh, 12, four, negative 14 and negative 8. All right, so let's graph these points the best we can. Negative 2 is negative 8. All right? Negative 1 is negative 14. It's like over here, right? Somewhere probably right around here, probably. And 0 is negative 16, and I think negative 16 is down here, right? So what is it doing? Try to draw this a little bit better. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's probably around there somewhere, right? So something like that, right? I, I know I'm drawing on a really bad... i got to make it a little bit better. That's terrible. All right, so something like this, right? And what happened? All the points got pulled down, downwards, right? They all got pulled down by a factor of 4. Is that stretching or compressing? It's stretching. It's stretching which way? Vertically by a factor of 4. All right. There you guys got it. Um, if you need to, go back, watch the video again. Keep messing with it. We're going to work on this for two days, so I don't expect you to be a pro at it in one day. But uh, good luck with this. And um, if you need help with it, send me a, a comment on my YouTube channel or send me an email at info at All right. Good luck. Have a nice day.